When talking about the most colorful and mischievous parrots, what comes to mind is cakes. These wonderful parrots are delightful to hold. It's very common to hear cakes as the clowns of the parrot kingdom, courtesy, their energetic, fearless, and bold nature. These medium-sized parrots have bounteous attitudes. They have a lifespan of about 25 to 40 years. What makes them unique is the white belly. They are also called seven-colored parrots. Cakes have two major species, white-bellied cake and the black-headed cake, which are further divided into five subspecies. While all the cakes have a white belly, a black-headed cake has a unique black feather section on the top of its head. How to determine cake gender? Knowing the cake's gender may be quite tricky, as there is no such dimorphism in male and female cakes. The only way to determine the sex of a cake is to operate logical testing. However, a maestro can guess about gender identity through their behavior, but there is no such specific behavior to consider. Nevertheless, let's learn the few basic facts which can be used as a basis to determine cake's gender. Size of male cake. The cake males are slightly larger than their female counterparts. The average size of a male cake could be anywhere between 10 to 12 inches. And this size is almost uniform among all its subspecies namely, green-thighed, yellow-tailed, black-legged, and black-headed. Size of female cake. The cake females tend to be smaller in size when compared to the male birds. Their average size may range from 8.5 to 10.5 inches depending on genetic factors. And as in males, this size carries uniformity among all its subspecies. Weight of male cake. Considering all four subspecies of the cake family, the weight of all the male subspecies ranges between 150 to 170 grams. And this average weight tends to be higher than their female counterparts. Weight of female cake. For all four female cake subspecies, the average weight stands a little lower than that of their respective male subspecies. It might range anywhere between 160 to 180 grams. Bill of male cakes. The bills of males of all four cake subspecies are comparatively bigger and wider than their respective female counterparts. This difference is enough for the expert eyes to tell both the sexes apart. Bill of female cakes. The bills of female cakes, as discussed, is smaller and rounder in shape. And this pattern difference is uniform in all four cake subspecies. Wingspan of male cakes. The wingspan of male cakes averages near 14 inches among all the four subspecies. This happens to be compared to wingspan of female cakes. The wingspan of all four subspecies of female cakes tends to be narrower than their respective male partners and generally averages around 12 inches. Medically examining cake gender. Generally, cakes attain sexual maturity at an age of 2, but it is advised to wait for breeding until they are 3 to 4 years old. A DNA sexing or surgical sexing must take place to know the possibility of breeding. A breeder can analyze the sex of the cakes depending on their behavior, but this may not be 100% accurate. To be sure sure about a cake's gender, any one of these tests can be done. Surgical sexing endoscopy. Surgical sexing is the most primitive form of determining the sex of the bird, and so does apply to the cakes. Sexing by endoscopy is a valuable diagnostic method in birds. It is a widely used procedure in monomorphic parrots. This technique must be performed by a skilled veterinarian or an expert clinician. This laceration will also help in determining the health state of a parrot. The parrot may be exposed to great pain during this procedure. For performing surgical sexing, the veterinarian first disinfects the skin and uses a scalpel razor blade to create a 2 to 3 mm surgical prick. Care must be taken not to incise the underlying muscle. Next, the surgeon uses the troker cannula device to puncture a hole through the abdominal wall. The device has to be held perpendicular to the cake's body and angled slightly dorsally and cranially. This process is done to make space for inserting the endoscope and can only be used on the birds that weigh more than 60 grams. Cake is one of them. Now that the laparoscope or otoscope is inserted, the exact location of the tip can be verified by visiting. If it is still in the abdominal air sac, the surgeon can gently push the lens tip against the air sac membrane to puncture it. The operation is made to visit the sex organs located internally near the front portion of the kidney. At last, the parrot is then tattooed to verify that he has been sexed. The necessity of anesthesia is a drawback of this operation as this may cause infections in the bird. Cake DNA sexing. DNA sexing is the most appropriate way to determine gender, and the results are authentic too. Commercially practiced from the 1990s, this is a non-surgical and non-antithetical process. The operator can be a veterinarian, a breeder, or the owner since the process is easy. DNA sexing can be performed on blood cards or feathers. Feathers of the parrots are plucked for the sample, or a blood sample is collected by clipping the parrot's toenail blood card. There are D-kits available in the market to put the collected samples in it and get the report. DNA with feather tests are the easiest and least invasive way to choose. 
being less risky, inexpensive, and easy to operate, DNA sexing is the most veritable method to use. Learning more about these sprightly bird species, cakes are the most playful and independent pairs. Fond of the soft surfaces, they take a liking to play over cushions and pillows. Cakes love it when given a big bathtub. These parrots may not be perfect while talking with a human, but are excellent at environmental mimicry. Cakes, whether male or female, are full of excitement and exploration. And irrespective of them being a male or a female, they are considered a great companion for humans. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.